With an inside the park home run, it has to be that perfect storm. You gotta get the right kind of kick. You gotta get the right kind of placement. You gotta hit the ball at the right speed. And you gotta be able to run. I love that shit. I'm sorry, but I mean, that's an exciting play, you know? So you tell us to pause when you're thinking change on the bases, okay? Cool. But first, let's start with the at bat. Okay. Pete Crow Armstrong will stand in. And the Cubs half of the third, down one nothing. They had just scored. They just put up one. So normally after an inning like that, I'd kind of look at counts and see if he wanted me to take a pitch. So made sure I had the green light to swing. And I was just expecting a fastball. And that is what I got. Hitting the ball is really hard, and it's been really hard for me a lot of times this year. I'd say finding a barrel there was probably the hardest part of that play, but uh, I knew I hit it pretty hard, so kind of off the bat, out the box, I'm thinking double right there. When did you start thinking more than double? Right there. Once I saw it get past him, I'm like, okay, that's a, that's a triple. And when did you go from triple to inside the park? Right there. Like literally right when the ball hits the ground after the kick and I turn my head, that's when I'm thinking about an inside the park home run. It's just kind of one of those instinctual things, I think, where you know what your speed can get you at that point in the play. But I don't know if I'm ready to take home plate if, if Willie hadn't been on me about the possibility of that play happening. Knowing the speed of Pete Crow Armstrong, I felt like this type of play was gonna happen at some point this year. He has literally verbalized, hey, if the ball ever gets stuck down there, if they take too long getting that ball in, like, stay on me, basically. I'm like, hey, man, if we can catch one of these right fielders just, you know, lollygagging after that ball, I'm going to be down the line and we're going to try to score. Do you think your experience as a player helps you anticipate that? It's weird you bring that up because I have an inside the park home run myself. Nationals in Washington against the Braves. <laughs> Don't make me talk about this one, please. I hit a ball pretty good to center field and just like PCA on his inside the park homer, I'm busting it out of the box. But unlike PCA, I had a piano get on my back around third base. Okay, there's where the piano got on my back. Okay, here we go, here we go. Get in there, Winnie Chill. Safe, baby. I'm like, I need some help getting up. Somebody come help me. But yeah, man, that was pretty cool. Pete right out of the box, he was sniffing something. Right out of the box, he wasn't looking for a stop sign. Pause it right there. You see the lean with the left shoulder. His mind is made up right there, okay, we might have a chance to score right here. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. There's the peak. There's the peak right there, you see it? He's peeking at me and I'm still looking at the plate. Sanchez in right field, man. He didn't really bust it going after the ball. And sometimes you have to expose people, right? I'm kind of like surrendering to Willie at that point. You know, I trust his eyes, I trust his feel. I mean, if he gets thrown out at home plate, it's not gonna look good, but you know what? It's exciting. So let's roll. Racing towards third, are they gonna send him? Willie's pretty animated when he's waving us. Watching how confident he, he looked, it propelled me forward a little bit. I'm yelling at him, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go, you better get there. I've never had this play happen before, so it's like I know it's gonna be bang bang. I thought I could get like my best entryway into home plate if I left the ground early. I guess I made the decision to just jump from there. The throw to the plate, the slide. It was amazing. It seemed like he just got faster. I mean, those guys did a great relay. PCA to the plate. It just was a little bit too slow for Petey Pete Armstrong. That's one of my favorite things I think I've ever seen is Nico's face start to change, Count start to put his arms up, flash up at the top step right there. That, that's the best. He is safe inside the park home run. Oh, brother, can he absolutely fly? Electrifying. How many true inside the park home runs did you hit before this one? 
I've never had an opportunity where I've just run freely around the bases and not had to stop or slow down or slow down and speed up ever. But my favorite part about that play is me and Willie being on the same page. You almost feel like you made it happen. <laughs> like you almost feel like that's you manifested it. I think that's the reason that I was the fastest one since Byron Buxton. To run around those bases in 14 seconds, man, that's really motoring. It tells me how fast he really is. And he's definitely got a lot more baseball ahead of him, and, and hopefully, you know, he has more opportunities to hit some inside the park home runs. If that's my last one, then I either got a lot slower or I stunk enough to not give myself another opportunity, so hopefully not the last.